I'm here today to talk about the benefits of being a corporate citizen. One of the things that I want to get through to you guys is this is kind of going to be in the area of you don't know what you don't know. This happened at Savage Finance. The feminine men are starting to find their way over there. And this guy was like, I was on Social Blade and fact check too. And you know, it, it's kind of funny because if you don't know, you would go to Social Blade and think those numbers are accurate, but those numbers are not accurate. They're not even close to accurate. I'm on pace to do $3,000 this month on this channel. And I'm gonna do over 4,000 at Savage Finance. And then I'm gonna do about 250, 300 on the third channel. So I'm gonna make 7,300 bucks, which is $2,200 more than the previous month. And this is really exciting me because I've never made this much AdSense. I've made most of my money through course sales and education and consults. And this is really, really starting to heat up because I see 50, 60, 70, 80, 100,000 dollars a month AdSense money on top of my course sales. And that is crazy exciting because I only live on 10% of my income. And what I can do, because this is part of the benefits of being a corporate citizen, is you get to decide what you want to do with your money. Because I had another person who couldn't understand, because one of the things that I'm bringing to you guys is information from the C-suite, not from the regular run of the mill, everyone's doing it this way. Because, you know, he was perplexed because he's been told that you can only take, um, you can only deduct your house or depreciate your house 2.7, 27.5 years. And he doesn't understand because he doesn't know what he doesn't know that a corporate expense is different. Like, let me give you one of the benefits. I can go ahead, take money in my holding company, right? Let's say uh, I, I, I got my second LLC approved for my, you know, the new holding company, Disruptive Assets Holding. And then there is Savage Finance Consulting, which is the operating company. And there's Cameron Media Arts, which will hold the YouTube channels and the brand deals. And you don't understand, like I can take money from Savage Finance Consulting and the uh, cause Savage Finance Consulting is going to be the consulting and I'm going to put the course sales under that operating company. I get to decide how to, I want to do this because essentially I can go ahead and make two or $3 million from Savage Finance, Savage Consulting Services, which will include consults and the course sales, take that money, run it up to my holding company, leave it in my company, deploy that money from my holding company to an, one of my operating companies and pay no taxes on it. Essentially, since that is a corporate expense, I get that as a deduction of buying that whole house. I don't have to take the depreciation schedule now. I could take the depreciation schedule later because the corporate expense is a greater tax advantage because essentially you don't pay taxes on, on, on anything that you make a profit. Grant Cardone did something. A lot of people did not understand what he did because, you know, they had $50 million in, the, in an account and the CPA was like, you know, essentially, if Grant did not spend that money on the plane, Grant would have been paying $20 million in taxes. Let me say this again. If Grant did not spend this $50 million on this plane, he would have been spending $20 million in taxes. See, this is the corporate game. Once you, let, let's say, uh, Savage Finance Consulting does 10 million, right? And I would float a million as income, as revenue, as profit, and pay taxes on that million. And I would take that other nine and deploy it in the company and buy assets, which are corporate expenses, and pay no taxes on it until those corporate expenses, like, you know, essentially this is what I'm going to do with the real estate game. And once again, you, you're not hearing anyone else talk about this 
because they don't know what they don't know. They don't know that this is possible. They don't understand that this is possible. This is what I'm bringing to you so you can understand what you can do in the future and you can educate your children. So essentially, I can make, because do what Grant Cardone did. Grant Cardone had $50 million sitting in a checking account and instead of paying $20 million on taxes, he went out and bought himself a corporate jet. And it was a corporate expense and you don't pay taxes on expenses. See, one of the things that you guys have got to understand is I am playing five dimensional chess and many other people are playing just checkers because essentially I can sell up this holding company. And you know, this, this is another benefit of being a corporate citizen. You get to decide what you want to do with your money. When you're an employee, you get raped off the top. You have no say so in how much money you're going to pay in taxes. None whatsoever. As a corporate citizen, you have a hundred percent say so on how much you're going to pay in taxes. When you're going to pay your taxes, because essentially, let me go ahead and give you the plan. It's 2021. I'm going to start buying rental properties. I'm going to pay cash. I'm not taking out loans. And from day one, I will have instant cash flow. I will have equity. I will have the appreciation. And until those properties have enough rent to pay what was spent on them, I'm not paying any taxes, even though I took money, put money to work and created cash flow. See, one, you're not hearing nobody on YouTube talk like this because they've not had my experience. They don't know what they don't, you know, essentially if you had tapped me on the shoulder when I was in that boarding house and told me that my life would be like this, I would have laughed at you and I probably would have punched you for toying with my emotions. But one of the reasons that you're not hearing anyone else talk about this on YouTube is they're not playing fifth to five dimension chess. Because essentially, what I'm gonna do, here's the plan, as a corporate citizen, I have my holding company, I have my uh, Savage uh, Consulting Services, LLC, Cameron Media Arts, I have that. And then when I go ahead and buy my first property, I'm gonna create another LLC. I may go ahead and create that this year, and I'm going to put all of my properties in the LLC. You hear no one else talking about this, not on none of the real estate channels, none of this, because they're playing regular checkers. They're not playing corporate chess. I am the bank. I don't need to go out and get bank loans. I will be my own bank. Using money that my companies have generated to buy income producing assets which I will have to pay taxes on later because essentially until that money, which was invested, which was a corporate expense, has a return that is above and greater than that expense. And I only would pay capital gains. Well, rental income is taxed as ordinary income. So what I am doing is I'm taking money and putting it to work, not paying taxes on it, and then paying taxes later at some point in the future and paying less taxes because once this house enters the tax zone, then I can start taking those depreciations. I don't have to take those depreciations now because I'll be paying cash. And once again, you, you hear no one on YouTube ever talking about this. You hear hard money lender. Uh, I got mortgages. I'm leveraged to my teeth. You know, there's a guy who did a video He's got 99 houses, but his cash flow is only $17,000 per month. His positive cash flow, which means he's paying like $70,000 in servicing mortgages. I can have six rental properties and make way more money than he is and not have the danger of leveraging because so many guys got burnt with leveraging. And one of the reasons I'm not playing that game is because I'm playing fifth dimensional corporate chess. I am playing the game that Apple is playing. 
I'm paying the, playing the game that Google is playing. I am playing the game that Amazon is playing. I am not playing regular checkers. I'm playing corporate fifth, fifth dimensional chess because essentially I've studied this and I've studied this and I've studied this. Essentially, this is why the holding company structure is so dynamic. And this is one of the reasons that you have to have a successful business. You have to have a business that's making money for it to work. But essentially, I could make a hundred million dollars with my operating company and deploy that money up to the holding company and choose how much money I want to take, take out the company. I could take out 10 million and deploy the other 90 million back into the company, growing the asset, making it more valuable and delaying taxes. See, this is what this young man didn't understand because he's listening to all of these people who are trying to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. They're trying to leverage credit. This is why there are numerous videos on the high FICO score. This is why there's numerous videos on hard money lenders. There's why there's numerous videos upon uh, leveraging, but there are virtually no videos about being the bank. There are none. You want to know why? Because there's not that many people who have this level of knowledge. There are people who have successful companies that are paying way more in taxes than they should because they don't know this knowledge. They have no concept of how to play fifth dimensional chess, fifth dimensional corporate chess. The game that Apple is playing, the game that Amazon is playing, the game that Google is playing, the game that many of these multinational, multi-billion dollar per day companies are playing. Donald Trump was playing this game. Fred Trump was the architect of fifth dimension corporate chess. I will be able to make millions and pay, and you will pay more percentage wise in taxes than I will. Because you're not playing the game. You don't know the game. This is the benefit of being a corporate citizen. See, what is getting so many people in trouble is, well, not trouble. They're in a state of, they don't have the knowledge. They don't have the education. They don't have the data points because playing this game. And also I'm not like, one of the things is being a corporate citizen, you can set up your retirement where you're making just as much money in retirement as you were when you were actively working. This is another benefit of being a corporate citizen. Like you hear 401k, tax deferred, Roth IRA, pull your money out, pay no taxes when you pull your money out. I don't care about taxes. If you knew what I paid in taxes the last five years, y'all would be stunned. I already get enough hate. I'm not worried about taxes because with the holding company structure, I have created a financial device that mitigates taxes and allows me to live very, very well. But see, I understand the game and I'm trying to teach you the game. I want you to know the game. In the next few years, it is my goal to create 50,000 corporate citizens where people can enjoy the perks of being a corporate citizen, enjoy the perks of going out and spending $90,000 brand new for a new car. Enjoy the perks of creating situations where you can rent your house to your business. Enjoy the perks of having more money than you need. That's the benefit of being a corporate citizen. And this is why I get into it with, I'm gonna say the un uninitiated, they don't know what they don't know. Like this fool who was talking about Social Blade. Social Blade has been wrong ever since I've known about Social Blade. Social Blade has nothing that is correct about my YouTube channels except the analytical data. The analytical data, they, YouTube allows Social, Blood, Social Blade to plug in, but the money, they have no clue. You got some YouTubers with 10,000 subscribers making 100K a month. You got some YouTubers with millions of subscribers making like two or $3,000 a month. 
there, there is no standard, you know, if you get X amount of views, it's all about your YouTube channel. It's all about your audience. It's all about your value prop proposition. There are so many factors that go into that. And so many people are curious about the money that we as YouTubers make because they nosy. Because essentially, there are so many people who will pick up a camera and start a YouTube channel. And once they see how much work is involved, they will let that channel languish. They will not go forward. Also, being part of a corporate citizen, because see, once again, I've never really cared a lot about AdSense. It's not been my jam, so to speak. But now, let me go ahead and tell you my corporate citizen plan. My AdSense is going to be close to $8,000 this month. And next month, it will be greater, and the month after that, it's be greater. And at Christmas time, it's going to be sick. I could potentially make thirty to forty thousand dollars this Christmas season, and now that has got me because I have knowledge. Because essentially, I can live off my AdSense money. Because this month, it will be close, will be over what my monthly expenses are, and I can take all of my corporate money and deploy it into income-producing assets. Every penny of it. You see, here's something, you know, I, I had a wonderful consulting call and the gentleman's house was paid off. He had money in the bank. And we both joked that when you don't have normal people bills, it doesn't take a lot of money to live. It really doesn't take a lot of money to live when you don't have a car note, when you don't have a mortgage, when you don't have credit card debt, when you don't have student loan debt. Literally, I want you to sit here and do this exercise. I want you to take a pen and paper and write down all of your debts. And I want you to just go back to how much would it cost you to for food, health care. Let's say your house was paid off. You had no debt. Your car was paid off. How much would it take you to live well? It would be shocking to see if you're in that situation, most people can live pretty well on 4K a month. 4,000 a month. To see, one of the things is I've never developed Omni and the Hellcat appetites. I, I don't have a habit where I gotta go out and buy a new car every day. I don't have a habit where I gotta do all of this, this flexing. So, and also I will admit that I did have a little bit of Omni and the Hellcat in me in the beginning. Because when I got that first check, I was straight to the BMW dealership. <laughs> Give me that 540, yeah. Let me sign these papers. How long is it gonna take me to get the title, man? <laughs> I had a little bit of Omni up in me. But I've had money for so long that I just don't have those wasteful, impractical spending habits. I just don't have them. I'm cool because during this pandemic, I'm in a 5,000 square foot house. If you hate me because I said I'm in a house that's bigger than yours, you need to grow up because it's facts. I've not been cramped or constrained. So many people now are trying to get a house because of this pandemic, because it's a new space and working from home. I've been doing this for 10, 11 years. I've been, I've been living like this for 11 years. I've been a corporate citizen for 11 years. And I want you guys to understand, it is awesome. During my Craigslist days, that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't a corporate citizen. It would, I wouldn't have had the time. The average man can only date on Friday night, Saturday night, because the average man has a job. An average man, you know, because if he goes out, he's gonna pay the price of fatigue the next day because he gets home late. I didn't have those situations. I had like multiple years where I actually got up whenever I wanted to, did what I wanted to, and I had thousands and thousands of dollars coming in every day. The life of a corporate citizen. When my car had, like one day I was driving my car and it started doing something funny. And this was the BMW. And I took it to my mechanic 
who said it was better to go to the dealer because some of the stuff was on recall. And he was right because the dealer was talking, my mechanic was talking about $10,000. And I took it to the dealership and they did it and the fixed the recalls and it was only $4,500. But I remember when my car started messing up, it was not a, oh my God moment because I didn't need my car to go to work. It was like, oh, I got to get this fixed. It was an inconvenience. It was not a life altering event because my car was not part of my income stream. And if it was, I had another car. So when I took my car to my mechanic and had it towed to Global Imports, I was still driving the luxury ride because I had two cars, the benefit of a corporate citizen. Like essentially, one of the things I do, because I'm a YouTuber business, in this house, I don't have one internet provider, I have two. I have internet fiber up in here. I have Comcast and I have two internets in here because that's how I make my money. I have three computers. I actually sold one on eBay and I just ordered this new tricked out MacBook Pro because it, it can be an editing machine because I got it totally tricked out. I max specs on everything. It was like almost $6,000. And I'm probably going to get another one because I got my iMac over here, which is a, about four years old. And typically I switch them out, but I always have excess just in case. That is the life of a corporate citizen. I have two cars. In case one goes to the shop, I'm still riding the way I like to ride. I have multiple computers. If one breaks down and I train them out before they get to the point of breaking down. So I'm always in the position to able to do what I want to do because I have excess. This is the life of a corporate citizen having surplus. Many people who start YouTube channels would not do the things like I got this Sony a 6600, which is sweet, which is what I'm doing a lot of the videos on over there in my other editing in my video studio because I've turned my dining room into the video studio. That's where I do my live streams. And that's where I do um, digital money because I changed life on digital money and savage finance videos in there. And I'm probably getting ready to do something nice for savage finance because I got to think about it. But this is the life of a corporate citizen. I want you to think, what would you do if you could make millions of dollars from home? This is the world that we live in. You can make millions of dollars from home. I mean, that's fascinating. That's fantastic. That's crazy. It is all a matter of having the right knowledge, having the ability to foreplan and the ability to execute and the self-discipline to do the work. Like today, I uh, today was uh, for digital money because I'm like, I'm growing that channel a little slowly. There's only going to be two videos over there. And then the mindset coach, I'm going to do some videos for that tomorrow. I get to wake up and decide what I want to do with my life. I have no one. Hey, Johnny, well, you need to do these reports. And the, I, I don't know what that feels like. I don't know what that tastes like. It's been so long since I've had a job. The benefits of being a corporate citizen. If I were to get married and have children, I would be an amazing father. You know what? Someone pointed this out with the Patrick Mahomes video. They said Patrick Mahomes father looked like a young man because you can tell he did not lead a life of stress. I'm 53. I don't look like I'm 53. The, another benefit of being a corporate citizen. You, I don't have normal people stressors. Like, you know, even though I had a heart attack, my health insurance is only like 450 a month. It's not that much because of the way that I set stuff up. Like, I I'll tell you, my health insurance is 450 a month. My car insurance is like three something. Uh, I don't have credit card bills because I never carry a balance because I treat my credit cards like a debit card. So I don't have that. My utilities and stuff. 450, 350, let's say 300 for you. No, not even really. Say 200 for utilities. So we're at like 800 bucks. 
gas, maybe 200, 1200. I mean, that, that's kind of like the gist of my bills. Uh, life insurance, 150. I don't think all of my like utilities stuff, I don't even think that comes up to $2,000 a month. And then the house is 3,500. So my monthly nut is 5,500. Driving a BMW X5M, driving a 911 Porsche, living in a million dollar house. That's my monthly expenses. Imagine if you did not have normal people bills, what would your monthly expenses? Some of you could ball out on 2,500 per month if you just had to buy groceries and stuff. Oh yeah, groceries and stuff. I like to eat out a lot. DoorDash loves me. I eat out all the time. You know, that's this is one of the things they tell you another personal finance block. You shouldn't eat out all the time because it's going to dampen your ability. I could retire today if I wanted to. I could retire today. But why? I like what I do. See, the benefits of being a corporate citizen and building a financial device is you create a situation where you are in control of your life. And this is why I'm looking, I am really looking forward to the next few years of getting these 50,000 corporate citizens, getting people schooled up, instilling the knowledge. Because once again, so many people are smart, they're intelligent, but they don't know what they don't know. And they haven't been exposed to concepts like this. This is why you will not see any of this other stuff. Because, you know, someone's like, go to bigger pockets. I've watched Bigger Pockets. I, I don't have any intention of getting in real estate like Bigger Pockets. I am going to be my own bank. I want you to think about that. There are some of you out there that have the business ideals, you have the ability, you have the discipline to create some financial devices, set yourself up a holding company, and start going ahead and creating your massive level of retirement. Uh, in retirement, I plan on retiring on a million a year. That's my plan because I'm, I'm going to still live in the million dollar house. I'm still going to drive Porsches. I'm still going to have fancy cars. I'm still next house is going to have a pool. And with that call increased cost of the house of the pool. I plan on growing an old man living in a million dollar house. That is my plan. What's your plan? Have you thought that far ahead? I plan on taking multiple vacations a year. That's going to be my retirement. I'm going to be able to do what I want, how I want. Live life very well. Because I'm a corporate citizen. So many people are trying to rent seek in like Forex and day trading and Bitcoin. Okay. So you had a moment where you had a quick hit. You bought Bitcoin, right? And you made like $20,000, $30,000. I'm talking about making that kind of money every month, year after year after year after year after year. I'm not talking about a one-time event. I'm talking about sustainable wealth, sustainable cash flow. I'm not talking about Ooh, I bought some Bitcoin and they appreciate it. I'm a Bitcoin millionaire. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about playing fifth dimensional corporate chess, sustainable wealth, generational wealth, building something that will support you and all like, like this whole thing. This is why savage finance just pisses a lot of people off because I don't really care about tax advantage because of the way that I credit my holding company, it has inherently built in tax advantages that are much greater than you can get with a funky 401k. Much greater than you can get with a Roth IRA. Way better. But I have the knowledge. I have been corporately trained. I've been indoctrinated. I know how this works. And I'm going to teach 50,000 people how to do the same thing. So if you want to be a corporate citizen, if you want to go off into retirement, because I had a, once again, I had a really good consult and this consultant, this consult, his father was a businessman and his father and mother gave him a bunch of money. 
I want you to think about this, that you are old and you're able to say, oh, here's son, here's 100K. Here, my daughter, here's 150. Your daughter comes to you, dad, I'm getting married. Joe asked me to marry. And you like, we gonna have a shinding of a wedding because you know you got the money in the bank. Life is better with money. There ain't no disputing that. It is, life is much better with money. So for those of you who want to be a corporate citizen, go below, because this is what I'm doing. For, from now until the end of September, you can get in for a one-time payment or you can get on the payment plan and you don't have to pay anymore. At the end of September, I'm gonna jazz it up and it's gonna become a monthly subscription because there will be monthly trainings, there will be monthly things. It will be ongoing. So this is your chance to get in. I'm giving you guys plenty of time. I mean, seriously, it ain't even September. So you got like a month and almost two weeks because I am gonna take 50,000 people to the promised land. I'm gonna print up some nice swag. I, I gotta check and see what my t-shirt designers are doing because uh, there's gonna be multiple shirts. There's gonna be like a little swag kit. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be sweet because I want to bring a lot of you to the plantation, the corporate plantation, where they serve sweet tea with nice cornbread. cornbread. I'm telling you, this, this is one of the greatest things in life. And I want you to join me in becoming a corporate citizen. So the links are below and I'll see you guys in the next video.